going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Chicago White Sox rebuild here on MLB The Show 21. That is right. In the last episode, we got really close to the end of the season. This is actually the final episode of the first season because in the next episode, we will be in, hopefully, the playoffs. Well, I think we are guaranteed a playoff spot, if not a wild card spot. I think we're going to win the AL Central, but it's not totally out of the possibility that the Indians come back and, and tie us because I think they're only like 11 or 12 games back. And uh, and we still got about a month and a month or so of the season left to go. So it's not out of the realm of possibility the Indians could tie us, but I don't see that happen. I think we got the perfect team to go win this division, go to the playoffs, win the World Series in the first year. I think we can do it. But everything's got to fall in line for us. We're not that great of a team. But today's episode is September call-ups and simulating the month of September and then the first week or so of October, playing a couple games here and there, jumping in, seeing how some guys play. But we got to figure out who we want to call up. We got two roster spots to use on these on these prospects calling up. So we got to pick and choose wisely who we want to call up. So we're going to do that in, that in this episode. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash that like button, notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. Let's get into some prospect hunting in Chicago White Sox rebuild. So as you can see, we are 81 and 53, and we're 11 games above the Indians for first place in the Central. I think we're pretty safe, but like I said in the intro, you never really know. So now that we are in september obviously september call-ups are a thing so we've got to decide who we want to call up to be part of this team as we head to the postseason if you guys forgot from the last episode i brought in joe adele in a trade with the angels so he is now on our team he's played in 24 games this season He's had four home runs, 13 RBIs, hitting 270, much better than in the 38 games that he played last season. So we may need to call him up. He's definitely an option. There's another option, which is, if I can find him, Andrew Vaughn, who in AAA has 348 at bats, nine home runs, 49 RBIs, hitting 270, uh, slugging 411, OPS 755. Pretty decent prospect for us. He's got decent contact, okay power. He's definitely an option for us. Nick Prado is also an option for us. Five home runs, 16 RBIs, 301 average, 463 slugging, 822 OPS. Could definitely be an option for us. Both of these guys have a potential along with Adele who has a potential. And then there's some, there's a catcher, Corey Lee, who could definitely be an option, but we only got two spots left. So we got to make a big decision here who we want. Corey Lee could be the move because he can play first base shortstop left field and right field along with his primary position of catcher so Corey lee might be a move to bring up and then i don't know if we have enough pitching prospects to rely on especially since jared kelly is on the il with a broken forearm he probably would have been the move to put in the bullpen but he, we can't obviously because he's injured so we could move to matthew thompson who has five and 13 with a fourth uh He's not having a good year in Double A. He needs another. He needs more time down in, in in the minors. But we also have Dylan Cease, who could come up. He is five and eleven with a four eleven ERA. He needs some time down in in Triple A too. Jesus Lazardo, how is he playing? He's pitching ten and nine with a four oh eight ERA. Why are our Triple A pitchers not doing so well? I don't know. I feel like we need to bring up at least one pitcher and one position player, but I'm not sure who that position player is going to be. Joe Adele can only play outfield. So what's his power looking like? 48-54. We need to bring up somebody who's very versatile. Andrew Vaughn can play first base and left and right field. Prado can only play first base. And Corey Lee can play all those positions like we mentioned. So, Corey Lee might be the move to play him at some different positions. So, we're going to add Corey Lee to the 40-man and call him up. So, Corey Lee is now up on the on the big league squad. And I think we move up Jesus Lazardo too. And we just have him in the bullpen. Because all of our, our relief pitchers in the minors are not that great of overalls. So... 
Let's move up Jesus Lazardo. It would have been Jared Kelly, but Jared Kelly is injured, like I mentioned. So let's move Jesus Lazardo to the big leagues, put him in the bullpen. He's here now with Sir Anthony Dominguez, Garrett Crochet, Jordan Hicks, uh, Cody Hewer. This is a good bullpen. This is a, a championship winning bullpen. Plus, Jesus Lazardo could come in if Kopech needs to come out or if Max Fried needs to come out. So we got another guy in there that can come into the starting lineup. And then for the actual lineup, we've got now Corey Lee, who can be very versatile. We've also got Danny Mendick, who can play a couple different positions. Jake Lamb can play a couple different positions. So I like the move of bringing up Corey Lee. And this team is ready to go. We just need some more growth from our young right fielder, Dylan Carlson. But he's only 22, so he's going he's gonna to grow. We need some growth from Yermin Mercedes. And then we need a little bit more growth from Sean Murphy. But other than that, our team is looking good. And obviously we need growth from Yohan Mankata. But everybody else is looking pretty, pretty good. I am very excited about this postseason. We've got the two September call-ups. Let's simulate a couple of days. Maybe simulate the first week or so of the season. We take a game from the Pirates. Let me see. Did we sweep the Pirates? Yeah, we played a two-game series against the Pirates and swept them. And now we're playing the Royals. We can simulate that. We swept the Royals. Your mean Mercedes is out for one to two weeks with a finger contusion. This is another reason why I brought in Corey Lee, because he can also play backup catcher when Sean Murphy is tired. So, and Galaxy Brain, you know what I'm talking about here. Oh, we finally lost a game. We lost the first game of the series to the A's. We are 13 and a half games up on the, the Indians. Let me check and see real quick. Is that the division? No, we have not. So there's still a possibility for them to... Uh, come back and, and win the division so that's not good let's check uh let's take a look at the roster real quick the lineup so we need a new dh somebody with some power Corey lee's already on fire he's had one game four at bats three hits he went three for four in his first game and he's hitting 750 so <laughs> good call for that i might put him as dh he doesn't have a lot of power Nick Williams has more power, but you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Corey Lee in at, at DH and see how he rolls for a couple games. See how he does. He can't do any worse than than 750, I guess. Uh, we have 27 players. Okay, so we need to call up one more guy just for the couple weeks that uh, my main man Mercedes is out. So we'll call up we'll call up Joe Adele to the big league club. There we go. Just for a couple days until Mercedes is back. All right, we are going to get swept probably by the Red Sox. No, we didn't. We got swept by the Angels, though. So Mercedes is back. All right, perfect. We're starting to lose a little bit. This is what I was talking about. We're starting to lose a little bit. All right, Joe Adele's going back down. Unless he's, like, on fire. Is he Is he on fire? Four home run? Not really, no. So you're going back down, my guy. You're cold, actually. <laughs> and then uh, Mercedes is back. Corey Lee's still here. Let me put... Mercedes back as DH. Oh, he's already back at DH. All right, perfect. Perfect. All right, this is a big four-game set against the, the Indians. All right, another, neither of our uh, AAA, AA affiliates made the playoffs, but we are on a huge winning streak right now. Ten and a half games up. I think that's a playoff spot, right? That's got to be a playoff spot. All right, we oh, we clinched the division. We clinched the division with that huge win streak because the Indians choked it away. So... We have a playoff spot guaranteed, boys, with the clinch division. So I don't know if we have the best record in baseball. No, the Dodgers are 108 and 44. So we definitely don't have the best record in baseball. That is crazy that they are that they are 108 wins already. Wow, Dodgers are gonna be tough. But we've got the Indians. We might as well jump into one of these games against the Indians. I think we'll jump into game one of the series. We will. Uh, Quick manage that game and jump in and see how we do here. Let me get uh, let me get the old school jerseys, the 71 jerseys. Let me get those things a rocking, and we'll we'll rock with. They can rock with these jerseys. These uh, these jerseys, yeah, yeah. All right, let's quick manage this. Max Freed is our our pitcher. Let me put these headphones on real quick. All right, perfect. We got. Everybody in the starting lineup that I want. Let's go straight into it. Nick Williams has a, has a, might be able to provide a spark. No, skip that. Forget that. All right, so 
Aaron Savali versus Max Freed. Tim Anderson is up, batting leadoff. He walks. Brandon Lowe gets a single. We're starting out hot, boys. Jared Walsh, a ground out, but he moves the runners over. One out. A walk. The base is loaded for Eloy or for Sean Murphy. Eloy Menes just got walked. Strike out. Dylan Carlson, ground out. So we don't do anything with it. Max Freed gets three straight outs. A single by your mean Mercedes and a strikeout and a flyout. All right, we are getting some runs. Oh, a single moves Eddie Rosario. Oh, and he picked him off. But a, a run is scored by Jimenez. So we are down by one early. We need the bats to pick up, boys, when it matters. Jared Walsh is on third and a flyout. Unbelievable. Strikeout, ground out, ground out. Come on, boys. Pop up, fly out, fielder's choice. Perfect ground out, pop up. Fly out. Come on, boys. Solo home run by Luplo. Jordan Luplo with a solo home run. Uh, Max Freed might be done. That might have been his last inning. Fielder's choice, single, ground out. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking Freed out. Uh, let's put in Sir Your Anthony. Attention, please. Now pitching let's see how he White does Sox. here. He got three straight Number outs. Perfect. A walk, a fielder's Surrender. choice. A two-run home run Surrender. from Brandon Lowe. Let's go. Big time move. Awesome, baby. Tying this game up. Fly out, single from Jimenez. A ground out. All right, I'll give Sir Anthony Three. one more shot at it. Three. Perfect, perfect. All right, I think it's time for us to jump in for these final two innings. So I'll see you guys in the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. In the game. Top of the eighth. 2-2 two -two against the Indians. We've already got the division, so, I mean... It's not the worst thing in the world if we lose, but you always want to get over 100 wins in a season, so we got to try and do that here. And that's going to be a late swing. My bad. My bad. I very badly mistimed that. 17 home runs on the season for Dylan Carlson. That's why we brought him in, and I missed that when I was underneath it. I was too much underneath it on that one. That's my bad again okay though let's see if we can get some a spark with uh luis robert here we need a spark 21 home runs from the big boy let's see if we can do it here that's a good pitch that i probably should have taken yard but i missed it the story of my life isn't that right story of my life missing those pitches like that all right your mean is up Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, that was inside. I like that. That was a good pitch. Why did I swing at that? Why? Why does it get me all the time? I don't know why. Man, I am just selling right now, aren't I? Nope, not getting me twice. You're not getting me twice. I got galaxy brain. He might get me a third time, though. <laughs> oh, he tried it for a third time. I got contact on it. All right. Okay. Okay. Time to bring in Bobby Asuna. He's got 36 games, 21 holds. Let's see if we can do it here. We're going up against Josh Naylor. Oh, uh, that's going to be a one-pitch hit. All right. Not what you want to see. It's okay. It's okay. We're all good. Roberto Perez is up. Ooh, the gas. He got the gas right on him. 0-2. Time for the strikeout pitch. The slurve. Down and away. Too much down. Too much down, not enough away. Change up. Got him. Let's go. One down, boys. One down. Ahmed Rosario is up. Double play opportunity. Ooh, pop up to in foul territory. Let's go with this cutter again. Low and away. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Change up. Ooh, I let that change up hang in. I let that change up hang in so much. He doesn't chase the slurve. Is he going to chase just a straight gas ball? Makes contact with it. 
Slurve. Got him again. Let's go. That Slurve is deadly, boys. Two down. Cesar Hernandez is up. One pitch gone. Threw the cheese right by him. Let's go with the changeup now. That was a tight changeup, but it doesn't get him to go. Cutter in the zone. Perfect. Now we go changeup low and inside, and it gets him. Ah! I thought I was going to get him tightened up. Let's go slurve outside. Slurve makes contact, and there we go. Tim Anderson is that dude. Let's do this. All right, we've got Yoan Mankata up. I'm going to get Cody Hewer ready to go just in case, and we're also going to just stretch and toss Liam Hendricks just, just in case, just in case we, we take the lead here in the top of the ninth. That's going to be a late time. Well, in my opinion, late timing, but that's two times now I've missed on those cutters that have been right where I want them to be. Tim Anderson at the plate, one of my favorite players, and I missed that very badly. The Pirates are 53 and 100. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Ooh, that was a good pitch. He's got that slider working. I will not take that away from Emmanuel Classe. He's got that. He has got that slider working, doing overtime. And Tim Anderson's gonna take that one into the center field, but not that far. Okay. Okay. You give me no choice but to hit a home run with Brandon Lowe, or Brandon Lowe, however you want to say it. No, that's too high. I can't take that yard. Well, I, I might have been able to. You never know. We were in the home run derby with this man. We didn't win it because I hit everything so foul, but had a chance. I almost swung at that. I legit almost swung at that. That would have been bad. Oh, here we go. Yard! That's not yard, but it will be a base hit. Okay, okay. We got a guy on base. Exactly what we needed. Exactly what we needed, because now we got Jared Walsh up. He needs to prove that we made the right decision trading Jose Abreu. Some people might not see it that way. But if Jared Walsh can send in the, the game the game winning run, basically, it would all be worth it. In the end! Ah, I missed it! That was the pitch. That was the pitch. That was a fastball down and outside that I could have taken yard or at least taken to the outfield. Don't swing. Try to check that. I knew it was going to be up high, but I couldn't check in time. That's not good. One, two count. He's going to go something low and I was early. <sighs> Super early on that one. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. There it is. And another foul ball. <sighs> Come on. Give me something. Let me win this game. Ready with the one, two. There it is. I missed it. I missed it again. Why do I always miss the easy pitches? Uh, we're going to let Osuna go another inning. This is Osuna's game to lose. We're going to let him go. Oh, thank you for the call, ref. Or ref, umpire. Only too much mad. There we go. There's a cutter up high. All right, now it's time for the strikeout pitch. Strikeout pitch. Here it is. Slurve. Oh, that was right back up the center. Ooh. All right, the winning run is technically on base. I don't like the sound of that. Not at all. Eddie Rosario. Change up now. Alright, got him, got him. How about a cutter? Got him, let's go! Double play opportunity is alive. Well, it was alive that time too, but Trey Mancini. Must have got him in a trade with the Orioles. I don't know who they traded away. But obviously, they got him in a trade with the Orioles. Boom, cutter perfectly placed. Had him stepping away. And then the slurve to strike him out. Touching! 
Let's go. Had him not even looking at it. Tyler Krieger. Don't even know who this guy is. He's got no home runs, no RBIs. He hasn't been up here very He must have been one of their September call-ups. Woo! That changeup was perfect. Fastball down low. Gonna get him. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Changeup. Too low for him. No, that's gonna be a base hit. Luckily, Eloy is right there. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. I can see you there. I know you're excited. Calm down. You're nervous. That's a big hit. That's a big, well, a big strikeout opportunity right here. Change up. Strikeout. Okay. 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 Strikeout. Got him. Let's go. We survive. We're headed to extras, baby. Phil Maton is in now. Eloy is up. He's one for three with a single. Who's on second? Looks like Jared Walsh is on second. Come on. Come on. Why is that change up 76 miles an hour? I was sitting on a fastball. Well, I was sitting on something a lot faster than 76. Sheesh. That thing was out of control. Eloy. Go. 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 We move him. We move him. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Good job, Eloy. Good hit. Sean Murphy could be the hero. We traded for this man very early in the series. Could be the hero of the series right here. What? I missed that? Unbelievable. How did I possibly miss that? I didn't miss that one though. We're going. We are sending. We are full sending this for the victory. Go, go, get there, get there, get there. Safe. No. What? What? Are you kidding me? There's no way I was out. No, I was not out. Previous play. Give me this previous play right now. We are following my man. Go. He's going. He's going. Oh. No way. What's the zoom in button? There it is. No, he got me. He did get me. His glove is through my hand. Why did you go leg first? On the game-winning run, you go leg first? No, you go head first. Unbelievable. He did get me out. <sighs> Come on, broski. You can't be doing that. God, that's, uh, that's upsetting. That is upsetting. All right, let's get Cody Hewer in here. I'm trusting you, young man. I am trusting you to keep us in this game. And don't let us lose to the Cleveland Indians here. Josh Naylor. Ooh. All right. They said that I got a power sinker. A 98 sinker. Okay. You don't see many of those around. Okay. You got 100 on it. Naylor is making contact with it, which I don't like. Stop making contact, Josh. Just stop. He made too much contact on that. Get there. Get there. Carlson. All right, get the ball. Get the ball in. They're going. They're, they're at third. This is not good. This is this is bad. This is really bad. We need a strikeout. Automatic strikeout. Everything goes home. Everything goes to home plate. I need an automatic strikeout here. Roberto Perez. Don't walk him. Sliders. Got him. Okay, perfect. Perfect pitch. Perfect pitch. Sinker down low. It's too fast. He's not going to hit it. He hits it. It's up in the air. Eloy, I need your arm. Go. Throw it. He's not going to go. We just lost. What was that? What was that? Oh, my God. We just lost. How did we lose that?
Unbelievable, we just lost that. Unbelievable. So coming off of that loss, very disheartening. Although we tied 2-2 in the series. So we came back after the game and won 12 to 1. So we were angry. We were angry in that one. But we've already clinched the division, so it doesn't matter, I guess. I can't believe we lost, though. That's annoying. We got two games against the Reds at home, and then we got a, a series against the Tigers to finish up. Let's see if we can take these against the Reds. We do take them against the Reds. Easy dubs. Now we've got... What's this that we got? Oh, we just got some annoying things that we don't need to really care about. Now we got the final series. If we win all three of these games... We do finish with a record of 100 wins. So, that's what you want. <laughs> that's what you want to see. So, let's play game one. Is a W. Perfect. Game two. Wait, who's pitching? Soroka and Gallon are pitching. Who do we want to jump in on? Who do we want to jump in? Do we want to jump in on Gallon? Or do we want to jump in on uh, Soroka? I think we jump in on Gallon since we just brought him in in the most or one of the more recent episodes. So we'll jump in on the final game again uh, with Zach Gallon. Let's see if we take the W here. We do take the W, win this game, and we have 100 wins. Exactly what we want to do. Final game of the year. Play it. Quick manage it. Let's go. Oh, we're going with those those unis for sure. We are definitely going with those unis. All right, we are at guaranteed rate field. It's partly cloudy. Zach Gallon's going in. We got the perfect lineup in here. You know what? Do we need to put anybody on the bench in? Should we see Corey Lee for the first time? You know what? Let's put Corey Lee at catcher. Put Corey Lee at catcher. See what happens. All right, let's jump in here. Zach Gallon on the mound against Akil Badu. Some other guy. Another another guy that I was looking at trying to get. Strike him out. Sol. The second batter of the day is a solo home run. What, Zach? What are we doing? We down two nothing already? What is going on? Not the way to start, boys. Zach Gallon lets two runs go in the first inning. Strikeout, walk, single. Come on, boys. Get out. Thank you. A walk. Fielder's choice. Single. Fielder's choice. Run scored. Okay, okay, perfect. Strikeout. Okay, we got one back. We got one back. Come on, Zach. I need you here, buddy. Good job. Good inning. Solo home run from Luis Robert. Booyah, baby. We're tied. All right. Gallon is in again. A walk. Line out, strikeout, single. Get out of this inning. Thank you. Dylan Carlson. A walk. A single. One run is scored. Fielder's choice. There's one out, boys. One run is scored. Pitching change. Julio Tehran is coming in. That's a blast from the past. Two outs. Fielder's choice out of the inning. Okay. But we are up 4-2 to two now on the Tigers. Exactly what we want. And Zach Gallon is getting tired. Zach Gallon is getting tired. I think what we do is we jump in, we pitch an inning with Zach Gallon, and then we take him out for the rest of the game. I think that's what we should do. So I'm going to jump in the game, pitch an inning with Zach Gallon. I'll see you guys in there. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is a beautiful day in Chicago as Zach Gallen tries to get out of the sixth inning with no damage. Nomar Mazzara is at the plate, and he goes right past the fastball. I'm going to throw the circle change low and away, see if it gets him. Ooh, Zach, I need your, your placement a little bit better on that one. Just a, just a tiny bit better on that. Cutter goes inside. Perfect. And now we got the 12-6. The perfect strikeout pitch for Zach Gallon is the 12-6 curve. Or it's going to be a 3-2 count. That works too. Circle change. Going to get him. He fouls it off. Okay. Cutter outside. Or he fouls it off. Or whatever. Whatever, bro. Let's warm up Jordan Hicks. Another another uh, circle change. This time it got him. Let's go. Exactly what we needed. Exactly what we needed. Eighth strikeout for Zach Gallen. Wilson Ramos is at the plate now. Can't seem to get a uh, first pitch strike. 
And he's going to foul that off down the first base line. Cutter now. See if we get him chasing here a little bit. Ooh, he made good contact with that. Very good contact. All right, 12-6, the strikeout pitch. There it is. He, he was going to go for it. He was going to go for it. He hesitated off of it. But he went for the circle change and got him. Let's go. Zach Gallen, baby. Finally, a first pitch strike. That's what you want to see. Spencer Torkelson. Torkelson, I should say. Fouls that off. But he's not going to expect the 12-6 curve. The strikeout pitch. Oh, thank you for not hitting that fair. Circle change. Got him! Booyah, baby! Beautiful. All right. So now that we got an inning done with... Uh, oh, now we got Corey Lee. We might as well stay in and hit one with Corey Lee here. And then we'll jump back to quick manage. Let's see how my main man Corey does. First round pick in the 2019 draft. Already in the bigs. Well, he's called up to the bigs for, for uh, September call-ups. I don't know if he'll be here next season at the start. Maybe, depending on how good he plays in the postseason. Oh, that was a good pitch. Well, it wasn't really that good of a... The placement was awful, but I just missed it because I thought he was going to go down low. He's, he went down low with two pitches, and then he goes up high. I wasn't expecting that. And I was very late on that. Very late, and it's going to be a pop-up. Ah, that sucks. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go back and quick manage the rest of these games. Simulate the half inning. Mankata gets on base. Carlson's out. Fielder's choice, and that's the inning. All right. Time to put in Jordan Hicks. A walk. A walk. Strikeout. Single. Jordan. Thank you. Only one run got in. We probably need to put another pitcher in. Brandon Lowe's out. A walk from Jordan Walsh. Okay, okay. Pitching change. Give me Crochet or Crochet, however you want to say his name. Ground out, ground out. Pinch hitter, ground out. Perfect. Julio Tehran is still in. Corey Lee's on base. One run is scored. We take back our two-run lead. Daniel Norris is in. One run is scored. It's a six to three game. Three run home run from Brandon Lau. Let's go. Unbelievable. And now we jump in with, who do we want to put in? You know what, let's keep Crochet in here. Let's, uh, can I jump back in? Here we go. Keep Crochet in here. Let's finish this game nine to three. The huge three run home run from Brandon Lau. I'm so happy that we traded for that man. He is coming up so clutch in some of these situations. Absolutely loving it. I'm going to throw a slider, but I'm going to throw it a little bit more outside than inside, hopefully. Ooh, come on, um. Give me that call. We're at home. What are you talking about? All right, I'm going to go with the slider. Tighten inside. That was too tight inside. I'm sorry. I did not mean for that to be that inside. That was uh, that was Crochet's fault. Not my fault. Change up. Got him chasing. Akil Badu probably going to go down on strikes here. And he does. Cha-ching, baby. Let's go. One down, two to go. In the final inning of the regular season, before we head to the postseason, that's going to be hopefully a double play. Let's get a double play here. End the game quick. Second of the game as they've cut this deficit down to four. 
Really? Really? A no doubter? Unbelievable, bro. I can't even throw sliders anymore. We just need two outs, and we have a hundred wins. Is that really so much to ask? Come on, Crochet. I need you here. I vouch for you. This organization wanted to trade you, but I vouch for you. Don't you choke this away. Don't you sell this. Nine to five. It's so good we got that three-run homer from Brandon Lau. I'm so happy because this game would be a lot different if that didn't happen. you got to be kidding me. What is with this slider? Why is it not going where I want it to go? Are you kidding me? Who are we playing? The Dodgers? What is this? We're playing the Tigers. Why are my sliders missing? What is happening? What is happening? Now it's a save opportunity. It's turned out from a 9 to 5 game to a save opportunity. What just happened? Or a 9 to 3 game, I should say. What just happened? Garrett Crochet is just selling like crazy right now. Get him out of here. Give me somebody that can, that can actually pitch. He might get traded now after this game. I don't know what just happened. Finally, a ball that goes to the outfield but not over the wall. One more out. I should have just had Hendricks in to start. It should have never messed around and put in somebody else. I should have just always had Hendricks in, even though it wasn't a save opportunity, just to get him some work before the postseason. That's my bad. I won't do it again. Let's finish the job. This pitch is for 100 wins. Okay. This pitch is for 100 wins. There we go. We got it. That was a lot more difficult than it should have been. But in the end, we come out with 100 wins and the series sweep of the Tigers to finish the season. Let's go. We've won the division. We play the, the wild card winner, whoever that may be. But that's going to be the next episode. Let's go, boys. Zach Gallen. You played okay. Zach Gallen played okay. He was definitely not the problem. It was that Garrett Crochet guy. All right, boys, that is going to do it for the video. Let's simulate. Th ah, no, let's let's uh, let's take a look at some some stats real quick. Let's take a look at our lineup. So to finish out the season, Tim Anderson had 21 home runs, 74 RBIs, 244 average. Brandon Lau had 35 homers, 264 average. 265 for Jared Walsh and 28 home runs, 38 for Jimenez with a 285. 9 and 42 with a 239 for Sean Murphy. Dylan Carlson had 17. So we know where our power comes from. These three guys right here are our absolute power machines. And then we got some good guys to uh, to run through the rest of the lineup. Luis Robert with 23 home runs. 21 for Mercedes. 11 for Mancata. Everybody played really well. Danny Mendick had 13. He filled in tremendously when Tim Anderson was out for like two to three months or whatever. So he's definitely sticking around on the roster. I, I like him a lot. Then to the pitcher rotation. 16 and 10 for our ace, Mike Soroka. We got 8 and 11 for Zach Gallon with a 380 ADRA. Lucas Giolito went 18 and 8. He might need to move up in the, the rotation a little bit. Let's put let's give Giolito the ace spot. We'll give him the, the spot since he's on fire. He's got the best record. So we'll give him the spot. Then we'll give Soroka the two. Zach Gallon the three. Freed went 12 and 8 with a 324 ERA. 13 and 9 for Kopech and a 374. Garrett Crochet just absolutely choked it. I hate you. You're gonna you're, I hate you. Just just die. Don't don't really die. Just just go away, okay? Jordan Hicks didn't do that well in that game either. Jesus Lazardo, Sir Anthony Dominguez, Cody Hewer, uh, Roberto Asuna, Aaron Bummer, and then Liam Hendricks. Okay. So, that is the team. Do we have any awards? I don't think we have any awards. Jordan Alvarez, Garrett Cole, Brantley, Presley, 
I don't think we're getting any awards unless we get like a gold glove or something. No, no gold gloves. Any silver sluggers? Brandon Lau is probably going to win silver slugger second base. That's tough going up against DJ the Mayu, but he absolutely killed it. So we're only going to win probably one regular season award. That's uh, kind of frustrating, but it is what it is, I guess. Standings, we've clinched the division. Are the Indians a chance for the wild card? The Indians are two games back. They lost. They're not in the wild card. Blue Jays and Angels are the two wild card teams. So we'll play either the Blue Jays or the Angels, I think. Right? No, maybe not. Do we have? We didn't have the best record in the American League. We lost by a game to the Yankees. So maybe we don't play the winner of the wild card. I don't know who we're going to play. We're probably going to play... We might play the Astros, actually. Ugh. That's tough. Okay. We got, we got our work cut out for this post cut out for us this postseason. Hopefully we can get it done. Let's simulate and see what happens. We won their division. We'll be taking on the Astros. I figured we'd be taking on the Astros. Yes, I would like to stop simulating. It is time for the postseason. Soroka had the most innings pitched. So I won't pause or I won't uh, talk over this one. But you guys can see who led everybody. You can pause it if you want doesn't really matter that much looks like the ad this is not a good sign it's a lot of astros there's our guy soroka it's a lot of astros a lot of indians a lot of yankees this is not what you want to see from your postseason matchup is they're leading a bunch of awards so next episode alds white Sox, astros get your trash cans ready because we're gonna need them <laughs> we're gonna need them this time but if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button, notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!